How's it going? This is a different video. Um, I don't know why I'm making this video, honestly. It's just something just told me. It's like God just told me to like, make this video. Um, I don't have a lot of subscribers, so if you see this, hi, my name is Jared. Um, and I want to tell you who I am. I want to tell you what kind of person I was and just my whole story. And I want a lot more to get in glossy eyed. You see that? Wow. Okay. So, like I said, my name is Jared. I am almost 23 years old. I was born in March 25th, 2000, 11.55 at night. Yeah, I'm the, the, that kind of person who knows exactly what time. Um, anyway, back to it. I want to tell you who I am and how I got here. I grew up in a Christian family. Uh, we, My parents at the time were Salvation Army officers. Uh, they told us about God and said that we should believe. I did not believe for a very long time because I didn't think it was for me to believe. I didn't think it was good for me. Let's start when I let's go back to when I moved to Maine. When I, let's go to where I moved to Maine. Nine years old uh, my parents said hey we're going to leave we're leaving officer's ship. We're moving to Maine. And I was like oh okay. I was not cool with it. I had to be cool with it because you know I was nine years old. I can't exactly say hmm, I wanna. Um, and I, we moved to Maine, and like the real world hit me because I was a very sheltered Christian kid. I like Christian. Sorry, yeah, Christian. Like I said, I didn't believe. I said I was Christian, but I didn't actually believe because I had to. Anyway, uh, the real world hit me. And it hit me hard. Like, insanely hard. I w From the age of nine to like 16, I was a degenerate. I was the neighborhood degenerate with a few of my friends. I was bullied constantly. You know, even I was bullied. But I would also bully back. Because I would bully people smaller than me. Really stupid. Like I said, degenerate. You know. Something about me. At a young age. I was. Introduced. To the adult. Side of the world. As in. Uh, the adult films. And whatnot, Like pornography. At a very young age. By the age of eight. It takes a lot for me to say that because it is something that I don't like telling people because they look at me very differently. Not so much now because I can happily say that I am no longer a slave to it. It is something I've been battling for years. And from the age of eight to the age of 20, or sorry, 21, I'm not lying, 21 took me that long. It took 13 years to battle it. I just hit my mic. Um, and those 13 years, those were awful, dude. Like, the amount of time that I would spend, like, searching for, like, certain videos was insane. Because, like, it, it was, like, it just taints your mind. It's so horrible. Pornography taints your way of seeing things. It taints the way you view relationships. It taints your seeing like how, what it is and how love is supposed to be. You see uh, the adult film and it's like, they're just actors. They don't actually love each other. They don't do anything. And 
it's just all an act. That's not what love is. You know. And I've had many conversations with people about my addiction to it. Uh, how it can taint your way of seeing it. Just everything about pornography. How bad it is. I hit my desk. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Another thing I want to tell you guys about. Um, there's things I've done in my life. Right? That I'm not proud of. This is the first time I'm telling someone this. I'm telling you guys. Um, but it's okay. Because it's not who I am now. So, as I said, I was bullied a, a lot as a kid. And I think when I moved into a neighborhood of not near my bullies... Like one of them had me friended on Facebook. And <laughs> I was about 13 or 14 at the time. It's, I shouldn't be laughing. This is awful. Um, I'm not going to say their name, but they had me friended. And I messaged them something. I was like, blah, blah, blah. Very choice words and very disgusting view. Because I was a degenerate and I was 14 years old figure it out you'll probably get it and they said yeah right it's a very choice I'm not gonna say the words I said because you're very choice and very disgusting and like this is the first time I ever told someone this this is the first means like speaking out about this um, yeah sometimes I think back on it The reason why I sent it to them is because in my mind at the time was like, since they bullied me and we're now friends, it's like they owe me, which is a horrendous thing to think of. It's like, you know, no. Like, it's disgusting to even think about it now. I was like, this is, that's who I was. I'm not that anymore. Like, the freaking Lord. Um, like, I wish I could go back and, like, say, like, and, like, take that back and, like, never send that message. But you have to live with what you've done in your life. There ain't no two ways about it. Does not matter. Yes, you've done things. I've done so many things. You've probably done things too. It doesn't matter. Um, another thing I want to get, be real with you guys about is my mental health and suicide. For a very long time, you know, like about like every the beginning of the, each new year, um, I always get like really sad and I think it's like yay maybe this world's better off without me and maybe I should just leave and people would be happy without me you know I'm not trying I'm not crying that's a lie <laughs> um Yeah. What? But it's... Yeah. A friend used to say... You know, the more friends you have on this earth, the more reasons you have to live. That's true. 
According to Facebook, I have over 300 friends. It's over 300 reasons. <laughs> um, yeah. But I've been thinking about going out a lot lately. I'm not going to, because that's not what God wants. I'm so I usually say I'm better than this. It's what the world wants me to do. It's what the devil wants me to do. Just leave this world. It's not what God wants. Right? You know, I am here for a reason. Just like as you are, just like everyone else is. You are wanted on this world, you know? And you know, you may think, I've already done so many things. Why does God love me? My friends, he loves you no matter what you've done. No matter the things you've said, the things you've done, the things you've thought. Maybe you did, maybe like, you know, said some choice things to work to someone, you know, you look at pornography, you do this, do that, it doesn't matter, it's insane, it does not matter, he will still love you no matter what, and I love you no matter what, uh, this is, I'm gonna have to edit this video so much, I just want to tell you who you're watching. Um, and I want to be real with you. Because if, if I ever become like a super huge streamer <laughs> and you know, I can show them this video. Like this is who you're watching. I have done things in my past and this is who I am because they shaped me into the person I am today. Lots of suicide, my years of addiction to pornography, my degenerate years. It shaped me who I am. I want to thank you all for watching. I know this is not my normal kind of videos. But. I just want to thank you. For taking time out of your day. To watch this. I will see you next time. In a happier video. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care my friends.